So hey guys, in this session, uh, we are going to see how we can create a custom alert in our Mule 4 application. So how the alert is going to help? So you might have seen whenever you have, whenever you deploy your application to the cloud hub, you get a notification in your mail inbox that your uh, application is deployed successfully. So in the similar way, we are going to create a custom alert where, uh, for example, let's say in your uh, Mule flow, you are getting some error and you want to convey that message to your particular client or to get notification from the runtime manager to your mail ID so that you will be updated like uh, while deployment you got an error and what kind of error, what is the error and some error description or error info will be there. So to create a custom alert in uh, Mule 4, the first thing we need to go to the, uh, we need to assign some permission uh, from the access management so the first thing is go to the access management click on the user part and from the user select your username once you select your username you will get a, a window like this now click on this runtime manager the runtime manager you need to give the uh, read application uh, permission so for this you need to have uh, select the environment where you have deployed the application so for me it is sandbox so i have uh, i will select sandbox and now in this select access part you have to select the read application access so i will tell you why i have select this manage alert also in the upcoming uh, video or in the in while explaining the alert so once you give the access now you need to go to your any point studio and in the search in exchange part you have to click on this and you have to uh, write the cloud hub connector so i will write cloud hub connector so it will give an option to add this connector in my project so i'll select this add it to this and then i have to click on the finish so as I have already installed that connector in my project, so I will show you what are the options we have here. So we have option create notification, get application, list application, list notification and mark notification. So for now I will select the create notification part. So once you uh, select the create notification, it will ask you give the connector configuration. So in the connector configuration, you have to pass the username of any point platform and the password of the any point platform and the environment uh, where you have deployed the application. So I have deployed the application on the sandbox. So I have given the sandbox environment. Once I click on this test connection, it will give me a success response, which means that we are able to generate a communication between our flow or between our any point studio to the uh, sandbox environment so once i click ok now we will use this uh, create notification connector and i will show you what are the things that we have to con configure here so in the domain name you have to pass the application name which is already deployed over the uh, which is uh, deployed over the uh, your sandbox environment so let's say if you are going to create for the first time <coughs> So when you create for the first time you might not get so for that you need to come over again and select your domain name here so my domain name is uh, custom alert testing so this is the flow that i was uh, that i have created and let me show you the any point runtime manager here so in the any point runtime manager i have this application custom alert testing so in a similar way if you want to have another application for which you want to create a domain you just need to click on this drop down and whatever the application deployed on that particular environment you will get an option over here so once i do this part then it will ask me to give the message so in the message part whatever the message you are going to give it will give you in the mail part so here i have given some simple string and then i have pasted the payload you can also paste a error dot description if you want to come with the error part or you can also give some link and then here we have this custom property so in the custom property i am passing the payload so i will show you 
why I'm passing this custom property and how we can use this part. Then in the priority section, we have three sections, info, warning, and error. So I have selected info here. So this is the priority. And uh, in this transaction ID, I have given just UID. So our, our randomly uh, generated ID will be here for the transaction one. Once I do this part, I will test my application. So before uh, deploying this application, let's go to the runtime manager. So in the runtime manager, you will uh, get an option alert. So once you click on this alert, it will open something like this. So here you can click on this create alert, give your application name. So I'm giving some testing error. And here it is the severity level. So severity level, it means what kind of uh, uh, level you are passing here, for example, for info, warning, and critical. So this will be included in your uh, mail subject part. So for now, I have selected info. You can select anyone. And then uh, the source of that uh, uh, source of this alert. So from where this uh, alert will be picked. So I have you have two options, either application or server. So once you click on this application, because I have application, I am uh, creating this alert for an application, not for a server. Then I have, uh, for that, I have selected this application part. In the application type, you can select uh, what kind of application type you have. So we have a Cloud Hub application. So I've selected Cloud Hub application. Then it will ask you to choose the application. So I have deployed one uh, uh, application which is customer uh, custom alert testing so i will select this one once you do this part so here we need to specify uh, for which application we are going to create the uh, alert the condition part if i come over here we can specify what kind of condition we are going to give so let's say uh, we have this cpu uses or deployment fail whatever the condition you want to give you can give it over here for example when you get an email that your application got deployed successfully for that we have this condition deployment success so once your application deployed successfully this particular condition will get you uh, will come in an action and you will get an alert over your email similarly you can customize it uh, based on your scenario so for now i am going to use this custom application notification we are going because i am going to put a condition into that so let's select this custom application notification once you select this part here it will ask you the priority so this priority should be same that you have specified over here so here i have given priority info so i will ask i will set the priority info here now in the contains you can specify uh, whatever word you want to have to match the conditions for example in the message block i have written congratulations there is an error please resolve it or this uh, character as well so uh, you you will uh, you don't need to specify the expression because when you pass the value this expression will get changed into the actual value so if you are going to write this uh, payload expression then it will not help you in getting the uh, notification or okay and then uh, from here you can pick anything so it this particular contains is similar that we use in the data wave uh, editor to check whether that particular thing is present in that string or not so for here i am going to specify so let me see so here we have the word error you can give congratulation error there resolve any word so for now i'm going to use the error word so when you type this error it will match this particular string or particular word with your message and it will not uh, it is not a case sensitive uh, type which means if it is written in small a uh, small letter and here i am passing the capital letter that will not make any uh, effect onto it now in the subject part we have this uh, placeholder this severity so severity we have a specified info so when we when we get the uh, 
when will uh, when we will get the mail then we will have this info and then customer application notice custom application notification then here in the message block we have this uh, resource so here resource means uh, the application name this one and this priority priority is this one and the message so this message will be picked from here from your any point uh, this cloud of connector so from here this message will be picked and here you can specify the recipient so recipients like uh, to whom you want to give this so let me write my mail id mcid and you hit enter to add this mail id so once you add the email id you need to click on the submit part okay so this is all about this configuration part and if you want to manually change this subject and message for now it is not allowing me to do this so because uh, i have a trial account that's why it is not letting me to do to uh, customize this part and if you don't have a trial account then you need to go to the uh, go to the permission part of this runtime manager and you have to select this particular permission manage alerts and then it will let you to uh, let you modify this thing also and here you can uh, in the message block whatever the things you want to give you can write it over here you can also fetch these value this custom properties value and you can mention it over here by using the same uh, syntax dollar and here it is giving message so because this is the message key here we have in the similar way you can write the properties as well so once you do this part let me show you my configuration here Testing alert. Let me configure it now. Cloud app application, custom alert testing, select condition, custom notification, priority is info, contains error, add recipient. Gmail.com and here I will be testing alert so once i do this part i'll click on submit ready to create the status code 500 okay let me do one thing let me refresh it So this is active. We'll click over here. Yeah, so this is active. So we have configured this part. Now, uh, now let's go to the new Lanny Point Studio. So once you deploy the application, you will get a Cloud Hub URL. So let me use that Cloud Hub URL. So here we have this customer custom alert testing. I will copy this URL. I'll go to the my postman and I will paste it over here. Okay. Now uh, let me show you the flow. What are the things I have done here? So in the create notification, uh, I'm adding a payload. And here in the alert success response, I'm giving a response that alert created successfully. In the listener part, I have given the base path. So the path I have given is, okay, custom notification here we have. Let me write custom notification. So this is the path we have custom notification. Okay. So now let's hit this application. In the payload, I will pass go to the body. 
select raw select text i'm sending a test test what so i'll pass this payload and this payload will get attached to the message section i'll click on this send so it is giving me a response alert created successfully now let's go to the so here if you see in the bell icon it is converted into the red which means we got an uh, we got an alert so let me click on this so i have created this uh, alert please resolve it test one test one i have passed in the payload now let's check the email that i have given so this is the email id that i have used so here i have got we are receiving this alert because the application this is the resource name and this is the uh, priority name and here is the message that i have convey congratulations there is an error please resolve it test one so test one i have passed it over here now let me create another one so i will do another test two click on this send so alert created successfully let me go to here now here see test 2 is here now let me check the mail as well so here it is saying new message from this click on so so this is the test 2 so we have created two tests so if i show you the alert so in the alert see uh, 11th march 11th march 5:35 okay so this one is not updated yet but yeah we can get the uh, mail of that alert also so in the similar way you can configure as many person as you want so here i have configured only one if you want you can configure more email id and then the configured email id will get an alert whenever an error happen okay the next section will see how we can uh, get the list of notification we have here and uh, how we can mark them as read so here we have this list notification and mark notification so we'll see also this connector and the similar is the get application and the list application so uh, we can use this one also but i will give a demo on uh, the list notification and the mark notification and uh, if you ask me here we uh, the thing we have configured the custom property uh, what is that so the custom property is the additional bit of information that we add to the error so whatever the thing you want to add explicitly with this message block you can configure it over here and if you want to have in this alert section then you can write it over here in the similar way that it is configured so uh, now it is not letting me to do just because of trial account if you have enterprise account or if you have uh, if you have enterprise account then you can just go over here any point platform and give the manage alert part and then you can configure your subject and the message and here whatever the custom property that you are uh, that you have set you can also put it over here so those messages will go to the mail so here see uh, i am getting only this message part by default we are not having this custom property so if i show you the steps so here we have these stuff first is go to the exchange and search for the cloud of connector then configure it with username password and environment on which we are going to clear uh, create alert and then test the connection then to create a custom alert we need to go to runtime manager and in that we need to give the read application access for that environment once it is done we'll come to the here and here also wherever you have specified explicitly instead of hard coding you can write a dollar domain so at the runtime when you are configuring this alert here you can also select the domain or if you want you can select the hard coded over here and then it will dynamically pick the value so the only thing it is going to match this contain part this error part so this is all about in this session um, thanks for watching this video thank you